The time I trained a dog that is capable of killing a mountain lion. I got a call, I was living in Greece at the time, and I get a call to train two puppies, large breed dogs for, for a diplomat in, in Istanbul. And I didn't know anything about the breed, it was the Turkish Kangal. So I tried to research it and a friend of a friend knew somebody who was once breeding them and then stopped as an old guy and he had to translate for me and all that. And he told me, you must make sure that you train them obedience before they're six months old. And I listened to it and I kind of dismissed it. I was young and fairly, not inexperienced, but young, young trainer and willing to take on risk, you know, when you're that age, you do anything. And I um, said, ah, no dog can defeat me, was the attitude. And so I drive four hours to Istanbul and I reached there and met the two puppies. Puppies. If you research Kangals, they're not small. I asked the owner, how old are they? He said, seven months. I said, okay, they're puppies. The first time I tried to teach him to sit with some food on one side and putting my hand on the, on the rear end of the male, I almost lost my hands. I was very taken aback that a dog this young can be that aggressive and powerful. And so I had to switch my approach and in the end got the job done. But they are a very dangerous breed if you don't know what you're doing. And the amount of experience I gained training those two was invaluable to me, especially when you deal with red zone cases. Those dogs steal food from wolves, can kill a mountain lion, they attack bears by themselves. They are not holding back for anything. They, are come, they come from a small border region between Turkey and Iraq. And what you get outside of that region is pretty much watered down in temperament compared to those and that diplomat got them from a farm up there. So they were the real deal and scary to work with. I mean, you feel very relieved and accomplished when you've done it, when you've finished them, you know, and they listen to you and they're obedient and everything and they're obedient to their owner. But it was a hefty learning curve, I can tell you that. No drive, no joy.